Hello, thank you for giving us the time to present our project proposal for a redesign of edX LDT 100X, Instructional Design and Technology Learning Series. My name is Anya Lewis, and with me are Michael Scheimer. Hello. And Brittany Bratcher. Hello. And we are Group 1 IDT. Here is the agenda that we'll cover in that we'll cover in this project proposal presentation. To frame our design challenge and instructional, pro instructional problem, we've identified the domain, higher education, and topic, instructional design and technology learning theories. Here is the background of the course that we will redesign as a part of this instructional design challenge. This course is the first impression course of UMUC's Instructional Design and Technology MicroMasters program hosted on the edX platform. The course covers a variety of instructional design learning theories such as behaviorism, constructivism, cognitivism, connectivism, andragogy, experimental learning, project-based learning, gamification, and microlearning. To focus our design efforts, here is our subject matter expert stated instructional problem, as well as the main organizational needs. The key takeaways here are that the SME, Dr. Randy Hansen, would like to see more engaging and interactive content designed for LDT 100X and improve overall verified learner enrollment and completion rates. Here are some of the identified solutions for our, our course, re, course redesign project. Our virtual brainstorming strategy identified that we, the instructional design team, work well collaborating through Google Hangouts, sharing files through Google Drive, as well as by email. The identified pros for this process are real-time collaboration, and the cons are that there can be time delays that affect critical decision making. So the refinement or takeaway that we've identified is that the IDT works most effectively by conducting frequent group virtual meetings and establishing a firm deliverable schedule. We always look forward to our project schedule and identify any larger deliverables that may require additional time and resources, and then adjust our schedule accordingly. By focusing on project goals and objectives early, we are able to avoid on-the-fly changes and can meet any established deliverable due date. On the next several slides, we'll discuss our project's SMART goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. These are our specific project goals. We will, we will design LDT 100X to be more student-centric that will meet stakeholder needs, will identify learning theories that promote learner engagement, and will identify best practices that increase learner engagement. We will also identify current strategies to increase student retention rates, improve LDT 100X interactivity, adaptability, and level of ADA compliance, and increase the number of verified learners who successfully complete the course. Our measurable goals include designing course elements that encourage auditing learners to transition to verified learners, design student support elements that encourage student faculty engagement, and track the number of verified learners who successfully complete LDT 100X and intend to pursue the full MicroMasters program on edX. Our project has an attainable goal in that we will stick to our established sequential timeline and we'll evaluate how the redesigned course has met our specific learning goals by analyzing student performance data. Our project goals are relevant as they specifically tie into the SME stated instructional problem. problem. The redesigned course will be more interactive, will incorporate more engaging instructional design technologies, 
and will better apply student knowledge of instructional design learning theories. Finally, our goals are time bound and that we fully are prepared to meet our project deliverables in a well-defined time frame. The course will be redesigned and ready for full implementation before we, the IDT, complete the Learning Design and Technology Learning Seminar course, LDT 670, in the spring of 2019. Here are the stakeholder established terminal learning objectives expressed as learning outcomes for LDT 100X. Here are the current and proposed performance assessment criteria for successfully completing LDT 100X. As you can see, the IDT does not anticipate, anticipate effecting any change to overall grading delineation, but does intend to redesign existing and add additional weekly knowledge checks, weekly activities, and a redesign of the final portfolio project. Our redesign proposal will follow the steps outlined in the ADDI instructional design model. This process supports the SME defined instructional problem and established stakeholder needs. We will analyze past and present course data analytics, design and develop interactive media and technology, adaptive modules, content, and projects that support understanding of learning theories, implement the redesigned course on the edX platform, and finally, evaluate the effectiveness of the course redesign project using learner data analytics. Thanks for your time. We look forward to showing this project, uh, the project stakeholders, our efforts to make LDT 100X an effective first impression for the Instructional Design and Technology MicroMasters credential, as well as for UMUC's Learning Design and Technology Master's Degree program. As you can see here in Appendix A, here are some of the documents that we've created in the course of this design challenge to uh, prepare for the uh, next project, uh, Project 4, developing our prototype module. So we started with a framing analysis and challenge questions and focus statement, uh, our framing analysis narrated presentation, our project management plan, uh, the course redesign proposal presentation, which is this presentation, and then the last link is for a prototype module proposal. On the right here, you see a short um, project management plan overview video that we created, if you would like to uh, view that. And here are the references for this proposal presentation. and. Uh, we uh, once again would like to thank you for your time and we look forward to working on this project.